Hello guys, uh, welcome back. I'm thrilled to have you in this video. Uh, in this video, I would like to share about the deformers which we get here in the move tool. So we have deformer, deformer hard and soft. I would like to explain the options of these three tools and also talk about the differences between these three. Uh, so let's get started with the video. So let's explore the deformers. They are very, uh, very easy to use and quite useful tool for modeling uh, complex things. In general, uh, when we uh, have to deform any model, we start pulling those vertices. But what if, if I represent uh, some points which can control a bigger number of vertices? That is where I'm going to use the deformer here. So for that, I have to access my move tool here. And then in the move tool, I just click the gear button. And we have deformer. Uh, in that, we have deformer hard and soft, which are almost same. So I would like to pick the deformer first, and then you get this cage. So we have uh, three handles, as you could see. Uh, one handle is uh, in the color red, green and blue, which is X axis, Y axis and the Z axis. So if I just start uh, dragging that uh, handle, uh, the points will start behaving in symmetry and parallel. If not, it doesn't behave uh, that way. For example, if I'm holding this point, uh, the, uh, the point is freely uh, moving and uh, it's, uh, you know, affecting the model inside the cage. It is influencing certain part of the model. Uh, so if I just go to this particular orange color handle and drag it, uh, the points uh, will increase, will give me a, a control on the high frequency detail. However, if I just go with the less number of points, it will give me a control on the low frequency details. Okay, uh, so I can select those point and move them like that. So uh, we can add more number of control points, which is again, there is no, uh, it's no use of adding that many points because uh, uh, I can actually edit the model itself. This lattice doesn't really uh, you know help in that way so keeping minimum points is the key in this uh, tool uh, and uh, let's say if i hold this red color handle and uh, right now it is in zero and if i click and drag it uh, you could see the value here uh, it is one and two okay so if i put one select the handle uh, the left side handle when i'm pulling the right side handle is also uh, moving in the same direction or it's moving parallel but if i hold this and drag it and if i move the point here uh, the points are basically moving in the opposite direction. They are not moving the same direction. So parallel means uh, moving in one side and the mirror means moving those on the opposite side. So you get very similar sort of effect on both sides of the model. So this one divides the model and this one makes the symmetry. And uh, what's with the middle one? Now when I select this middle point and uh, move it, the transition is quite uh, smooth. But if I just click and drag this slider, uh, the transition is not smooth, but it's very hard actually. Okay. So here I just need to move it. Okay. Uh, so this is going to give you the hard subdivision there. Okay. So uh, whatever I'm doing with this particular handle, which is making it either soft or hard, uh, is there in other directions also? I can make it hard and then I can start moving those points. Okay. Like that. Uh, so I'll just uh, exit that options there and then uh, go for the hard one. If you remember, we had uh, in the normal deformer, we had three cones. One is like uh, adding points. Uh, the middle one was the smooth and the last one was uh, either parallel or symmetry. So I'll keep it symmetry and then when I move it, uh, the defaultly, the model is giving me the hard result. Uh, there is no slider to control that uh, hardness here. So that's the deformer hard for you. And then when I choose the deformer soft, again, you don't have the middle slider here. And when I start moving it, the result is soft. Uh, so we have uh, the slider removed in the soft and hard deformers. And uh, the normal deformer has a slider where you can interactively control them. I think, uh, let's say if I have to choose between this, I would rather prefer the deformer and then later decide whether I want it to be a hard one or a soft one. So deformer is generally used to uh, make things uh, deform uh, with less number of control points by the cage which is surrounded by this. So this is a uh, deformer for you guys. Hope you like this video. If you liked it, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe my channel and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section about this video or any uh, content on my channel. I, I would love to hear about that. Thank you.